Hey there, everybody. Welcome to a new Blacklist Finale Theory discussion. And we're, we're focusing in heavily here on Liz, on Megan Boone, because it's, it's obvious <laughs> that how Liz leaves at this point is going to be a huge part of the finale. Megan Boone's exit has already been reported. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we know that she's leaving after this last episode. We saw her get shot, but that doesn't necessarily mean that's how Megan is leaving the show. I mean, we're gonna talk all about that. Yeah, like there's a lot of different theories that are out there. <laughs> there's a lot of different ideas that we have. I think this is probably way more complicated than any of us, us included, would probably even first assume. So I think this is gonna be a fun discussion to kind of get us hyped up a little bit more for that finale airing. Yeah. Before we get into it, of course, why not subscribe? Because as you guys have probably been able to figure out this week, We've got a lot of Blacklist coverage. You know, we will be back, of course, to discuss the finale, all sorts of other important stuff related to it. Yeah, and we're also going to be here all summer talking about Blacklist. We're hoping to have Blacklist videos up every Friday so that we can still continue on the journey and talk about the next season, talk about some theories, talk about, you know, where some characters are going to sort of land going into the next season and stuff like that. But also, it's Father's Day this weekend, so if you're a father and you're at the channel, welcome! And also, happy Father's Day. Matt Thank is you. a dog dad. We have Coco Chanel Vanderwoof, who is not here. She does whatever she wants <laughs> because she is the boss and we just live in her world. But yeah. if you do want to see pictures of her and you haven't seen her, she's on the channel when she when she feels like it. Yes. You can go over to our Instagram, which is Matt and Jess TV. We've got lots of pictures of her up there. Yeah, and I'm sure there will Happy be... Happy Father's Day. <laughs> there, Who knows? There may be even more Father's Day hijinks ahead. So. Yes. Okay, with Liz and with Megan, there, there's obviously a lot of different directions <laughs> that we can go. I think one thing, though, that... I kind of want to clear up right away because we've seen a lot of this in the comments of people being like, oh, the reports out there say that you know Megan is leaving as a series regular. That means that she may still come back a lot as a guest star. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's necessarily going to work like that. I think that if Megan wanted to still appear on the show on some sort of semi-regular basis, she would still be a regular. She would still be a main cast member no matter what they decide. There's always a chance she could come back, but I think it's going to be more of like a finale, like a series finale, a milestone episode sort of thing. Yeah, we've seen other main cast people leave their shows, like over on NCIS. Yep. We have the character of Ducky, who had been there since the beginning, and he's been, he's still there. Yeah. He's just on the show less. They, they're not like straight up you know he's not he's not a series regular he's no longer on the show no he still is but they were clear with everybody that doesn't necessarily mean that blacklist is going to be clear with everybody because yeah. we don't know how she's going to leave the show we saw her get shot so <laughs> here's the first theory is she gonna die no okay i don't actually know for sure that's the answer but look, i don't think they're gonna kill off liz just because after eight years, and I know this is a dark show, I know it that is. it can really talk about all sorts of weird and crazy stuff. I just think going through all of this for Liz to finally get <laughs> answers and then Liz dies immediately afterward, that is just, it doesn't feel like a worthwhile end of this journey. It just feels like something that's going to make people mad. Okay, so here's my hot take, so okay. buckle up, guys. All right, all right, I'm buckled Wait, in. I'm, oh my god, I'm waiting for the comments Oh to boy, happen. all right. Okay. I do not want the Liz character to die. I have another theory of what I want to see. Okay. But I said this with the wrestler character a little while ago, and y'all got mad at me, and I understand. <laughs> welcome. You're also welcome here at the channel to be <laughs> mad at me. Um, but I had said that if the wrestler character had died, and I don't want him to die either, yeah. to be clear, that it would propel Liz's character in a very different direction because he's the only person that she feels is honest with her all the time. And if she loses that rock, she loses a lot. Yeah. Here, we're kind of in a very similar situation. We saw Reddington last night be straight up, take whatever you want. I've been collecting this information for three yeah. years. I don't even care, but you can't hurt Liz. 
if Liz dies, which I don't want, yeah. if she dies... It then sends Reddington's character in a very different direction because his whole life has been around protecting Liz, loving Liz, caring for Liz, making sure Liz is okay. And if that 30 year project fails and she dies, I think that it's going to put Reddington on a very different path, which is something that they could very much want since Megan's leaving the show. I, I will say this about this, because, yes, I am like you. I do not want Liz to die. No. How, however, I do understand the storytelling push of doing, okay, Liz is dead. Let's say Townsend ends up being ultimately responsible for it. Townsend's still out there somehow, even with the fire and all that craziness we just saw. But let's say then that that is, gives Reddington and the task force a reason to really come together. Season 9 is this big revenge story like i can at least understand the justification of doing a season nine because that is a big part of this is the where is the show going to go without liz and there's no down there's no denying it's a really strong motivating factor listen revenge stories are some of the best stories yes. out there we just watched really good revenge stories over on handmaid's tale that whole show was a revenge story <laughs> yeah so if you haven't seen that you really should it's it's really good but okay so that's where i actually think the show is going okay where i would like the show to go this is my theory is Reddington has been carrying this burden for 30 mm -hmm. years. He's been carrying the archive. He's been, you know, the keeper of the archive, the keeper of Liz, if she's the archive, whatever it has been. This has been a heavy burden. He's, according to this episode last night, you know, has taken on Raymond Reddington's identity to carry this burden for yes. 30 years. Now, the past few years, people have been very frustrated with Liz. I haven't enjoyed watching Liz and Red not working together. I think Megan and James have a really nice chemistry on screen. There's just like, it feels like a really natural rapport between them. That's something that's, you know, I, I have enjoyed immensely watching the two of them sort of taking on blacklisters and working together and sort of getting to the bottom of things. So the past couple of years, what's frustrated me is not seeing that chemistry on screen because they're not, they're working against each other. So what if we finally have Liz go out a hero instead of going out the way that, you know, she's been built up the past couple of years that a lot of people have really disliked Liz. What if she takes that burden from Reddington so he can live the last bit of his life in some sort of a happiness where she's like, okay, I get it now. I understand why you've been doing this. I'm the archive or I now know I am, or I can take this from you to give you some peace. So see you later, see you never. I like a lot of the idea behind this because it would at least make the show kind of go a little bit more full circle. Like maybe it is a way to explain okay here's how people can get more on board with liz because i know a lot of people are very <laughs> frustrated with liz and i understand that fully this would at least make them be more sympathetic towards her and because there's also this other wrinkle here that the blacklist has just chosen to forget about altogether over these past few episodes that reddington is sick and liz knows that something's going on with reddington health wise yeah. she might be like okay I know that you're not doing well, even though you haven't told me why you're sick or what the treatment is or anything like that. So maybe that's another sort of incentive to go along with what you're saying. Yeah, I just want to see them turn the character around. We've been on a journey with her for a long time. And for a long time, a lot of us have been really rooting you know, to, to see her do well and to see her connect with Reddington, see this relationship continue to evolve. And then it this whole we're against each other was very difficult. I have a, a very weird sort of comparison that only a few people and Matt will get, which is I used to love this show called Beauty and the Geek. 
Oh which boy. that was on. Oh boy. <laughs> and the first four seasons were really fun and it was sort of like geeks and, you know, beauties working together to learn about each other. And then the last season they decided to make it beauties versus geeks, which is kind of <laughs> like life where it's just miserable and nobody wants to see that i want to see people coming together so i gotta Sorry, say this <laughs> i did not expect the beauty and the geek connection to come in during this video but you know what? I, I i get what you're saying fully and all right I'll, I'll share my theory here but this is the difference is that well i think your theory is very compelling and i actually think i would rather see that theory than my it, theory listen, it's a dark show they they're not going into my happy theory. well okay my my theory for what they're gonna do is actually probably it, it, it's happy in its own way but i think what they're probably gonna end up doing i don't think they're going to kill liz I think they're going to find a way to sort of have Liz be out there and happy and keep the door open for her to come back. But I think it's going to be a situation where Liz knows the full truth. Maybe Townsend isn't defeated completely, but maybe he's contained. Maybe mm -hmm. the people around him are contained. And then Reddington is just sort of like, you know what? The biggest dangers that are out there or were out there for you now, Liz, are gone you can go and live some element of a normal life somewhere. Maybe she still has like some security around her or whatever else. But I think she and Agnes are going to be able to go off, live somewhere, be happy, have a life that Katerina, the real Katerina Rostova, never really had. And I think that would sort of constitute a quote unquote happy ending for Liz because she's never really had that much choice as to the world that's around her. And she can make a choice to go off and be happy. I don't know if this just becomes them repeating the Samar ending all over again, but it's yeah, out there. Yeah, because, I mean, Pan Baker put out this burn notice on her, so it's it's going to be complicated, but it's not impossible to have this ending. It's, you know, if they really are going to sort of scrub her off the face of the earth, then that might be something that she's like, cool. Let me just go somewhere where I can just be a brand new person with my daughter and enjoy life. We have one more, I think, prevailing <laughs> theory to talk okay, about here. Yeah, so the, we've seen this so many times yes. that we got to talk about it. Is the idea that Liz is not leaving the show, only Megan is leaving yeah. the show, and that the Liz character is going to be recast with the Serenoid or some other actress because there seems to be a vocal group of people out there that just don't like Megan and they don't like her as an actress, which personally, I don't understand. I truly, really like her as an actress and I really like her, I said this earlier, with James. So yeah. for me going, you know, it's, it's eight seasons in yeah. to recast her with someone else, I don't want to see them just recast her. Like, if that is the case and you still want to bring on the Liz character, drive a truck of money up to <laughs> Megan's house if that's what the problem is. You know, work on the creative direction if that's what the problem is. If the problem is, you know, all the people that are really hating on Megan, the person that's driving her away from the show, find a way to stop that from happening. Like have something sort of in place for that. There's gotta be ways to work around it if both of them wanna continue it on. But remember, this is mutual. This is not just Megan has abandoned the show. There are a lot of different ways to go with all of this. And I'll, I'll start by saying, I, I understand why people's minds would go in this direction because apparently the blacklist has no problem like giving every character possible a new face like Reddington obviously became Reddington, Katarina, we've had a fake for her. I don't know eventually are we going to have like a Rom 3.0? Yeah, or... and we saw that Dom had to be recast, but he is not a major character. He is not yeah. the female lead of the show. Yeah, and to recast somebody this far into a run, it's not something that happens particularly often. And I, I, I know that the Bewitched example is out there, but that's a, that's a okay, show that's, that's decades old. It's also one show, yeah. and you're looking at one or two shows out of 
thousands and thousands of shows over the years. Yeah. That's not normal and it doesn't really happen. And it, for me, I just feel like it's not going to be satisfying. I would rather just see the story of Liz end and let the show pivot into the new future if this is where it's gonna kinda go. Yeah. I, I'm not sure if this is coming from that people just don't like Megan as an actress and they like the character of Liz or like what is going on here. They just wanna see Liz on the show longer. But for me, the thing that cannot be replicated yeah. is the rapport and sort of the genuine, natural back and forth between Megan, the actress, and James, the actor. That can't be brought in by anybody. Personally, I would rather just see them bring in a new series regular, like bring in a new character or somebody. Bring in Priya. Yeah, Priya's great. I like Priya a what lot. What a great character. Yeah. Listen, they need to bring in another female onto this show. The yeah. only one that is left is Park. And she, you know, has not been developed enough yet yeah. for all of us to be like super into what is happening with her. We haven't got to know her well enough. We've got to know her okay, but not nearly enough, which has, you know, been kind of a bummer. Yeah, we, we need somebody who would bring new energy. Maybe, I like Priya because it is somebody who would be on Red's side. I just think instead of just regurgitating Liz all over again with a new actor, who would just that just wouldn't feel satisfying to me. Bring in somebody new. Give us a new story. Give us something that's fun and exciting. Like, heist with Priya and Reddington. Who says no? Who's like, nah, I don't want that. Like, yeah. I don't want that. No, once the story with Liz is wrapped up and we know the truth of everything yeah. and we're already starting to learn a lot and we learn the truth about Reddington, the story is over. And it's time for Liz then, if Megan's going to leave, Liz has to leave the show. It just has to be this way for me to be able to go forward. Like, make it fresh. Yeah. I think there's still, depending on how this finale ends, because we don't know that yet, but there's a lot of room to print this show off in different directions. I don't know how it's going to work, but I'm going to try my best to have faith because they've managed to make the show work for this long already. Yeah, I think that they've known for a long time that she's been leaving, so they've had a long time to craft something really good for season nine. I'm very bummed that Megan is leaving, but I feel like the show is going to be able to pivot into a new direction and a new era with the show. And I'm a Blacklist fan till the end. Yeah. So wherever they're going to go, I'm on the journey with yeah. them. We're we're on board. We just, just end it in a satisfying way. That's, that's all we said for Megan's sake, who's been there for so long, for all of us who have watched Liz. But of course... How do you guys think the producers are going to wrap all of this up in one stinking episode? Oh, man. I know, I know. One <laughs> episode, guys. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> and, you know, like we said, we've got a lot of Blacklist coverage coming. We will be doing some fun stuff all summer. So stay put on the channel for yeah. that. Thank you guys for watching. You know, we'll, we'll see you here next time.